So Anthony, what are the thoughts of CVC today at the start of this climate march? Uh, I think the thing CVC is most focused on, and has been for a while, is the fight against Spectra Energy and their plan to expand uh, the fracked gas pipelines in the New England area uh, to bring gas from the Marcellus Shale, which has already been ravaged by the fracking boom, uh, through New England up to the Maritime Provinces and the LNG export terminals there, so it can be exported for, uh, for profit for Spectra. Um, so we're trying to hopefully uh, build up some energy uh, that people can get tapped into the upcoming uh, week of action against Spectra starting on June 6th, uh, so people can start organizing some direct action um, or get involved with groups like CVC or FANG in Rhode Island um, who, are, who have been fighting for a long time uh, against Spectra in that campaign. What's the matter with the, what Spectra is doing? They call it natural gas. Sounds nice, natural. Yeah, I mean, aside from all the, the climate change implications of methane gas, which is a really powerful greenhouse gas, um, fracking is destroying communities in the Marcellus Shale, um, and the, the gas that's going to be brought through the ex these expanded pipelines is going to affect communities in New York and Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. Uh, the, the capacity of the compressor stations along the pipeline is going to be increased, uh, which means the amount of methane and formaldehyde and volatile high organic compounds leaking out of those compressor stations is going to be even higher than it already is. And most scary uh, is one stretch of the pipeline expansion is going to be dangerously close to the uh, Indian Point nuclear power plant, uh, which could result in a catastrophic um, explosion if this pipeline exploded, as um, many of them do. Um, so aside from the climate change implications, this is a huge health and safety um, issue. So, yeah. So I interviewed one of your folks up in a tree and uh, I understand she was taken out and arrested about a bunch of charges. What's the latest on that? Um, as far as I know, uh, she's out and I don't know any any um, specific uh, updates since then, uh, but I do know that that was the halfway point of the 40-day warning that uh, this coalition that's been organizing against Spectra gave to the company. Uh, if they don't stop this plan for this pipeline expansion at the end of those 40 days, uh, there's going to be escalated resistance. And and that tree sit was a kind of a warning uh, that if, if you guys don't stop this plan, there's going to be more things like this. Uh, and people are willing to put their bodies on the line to stop the construction of this, this project um, by whatever means they can. If people want to get in touch with your group, what's the best way? Uh, capitalism versus climate, uh, dot org, uh, or on Facebook, Capitalism versus Climate. Um, and yeah, you can get tapped in that way for sure.